Hello, viewer. Good afternoon. Today, we're talking about CNES proposal to ban the importation of generator sets and the use of generator sets in Nigeria. On March the 11th, 2020, Senate proposed the ban of generator sets and the use of generator sets. According to the Senate, it is causing air pollution and noise pollution in Nigeria. As a way to help clean the air in Nigeria, Senate has proposed to ban the use of generator sets. Anyone caught importing generator sets shall be sent to prison. Join me as we talk to Nigerians to find out if this bill can actually be effective in Nigeria or what is their opinion? The Senate has proposed a bill to ban the importation of generator sets and the use of generator sets in Nigeria. How would this affect you if this is turned into a law? And is this what they should be focused on? Well, um, I don't think that's what they should, be, they should be concentrating on at the moment. Yes, in the, at the long run or at the long run as the case may be, it's going to pay off because we'll be able to tackle this issue of power generation in Nigeria. Because some people are really making money by reason of this importation of generators. And, you know, I'm of the opinion that they should center more on this health issue. You get there are other aspects of the, the, nation, the economy that they should focus on. I don't know why it is generator that they should be centering their all their energy or focusing all their energy on i think they should do more than that stopping of uh, importation of gen it will affect us negatively because if it's going to be positive then alternative uh, motive has to be done in order to bring in uh, another alternative method in getting a uh, uh, light so since there is no constant light in nigeria and businesses continue with the usage of light since there is no constant light Gen has been the alternative being used by uh, business uh, uh, individuals to make their business work. So if the ban of Gen is being done, government should work on the alternative of bringing more light or do, uh, doing more alternative that are like solar or other means by, of, uh, of bringing more means of getting light in Nigeria. To me, a uh, uh, ban of, uh, of, uh, of uh, importation of Gen shouldn't be a way for now. Before they do that, if for that they're going to do that, there should be an alternative provided something on ground in order to uh, help them before they put a ban to it. Jen will actually be helpful to Nigeria. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. The Senate had proposed a bill to stop the importation of generator sets and the use of generator sets in Nigeria. How would this affect you as an individual and is this what they should be focused on? Okay, first of all, I think they shouldn't be focused on this. We have a, big, a bigger issue in front of us, um, the coronavirus. I think they should focus on that and not bringing this bill into law yeah so um first of all i think they don't even give light so why would you even want to bring that into law it's a no-no for me i feel it's the wrong thing to do because um if we're supposed to ban generator sets there's supposed to be a provision for a steady power supply and i feel with the way the country is now we can't afford to push out generator sets. As it is right now, we are still struggling with a lot of things. The country is, uh, is struggling to, to stand right now. We are battling with a lot. So I don't think that is the way to go right now. Well, I don't see any reason. I don't know why. Even me, I'm still wondering why, who brought, who came about that bill. I think they said it's from Niger State. No, I just said have uh, like three dams, but they don't even have good power supply. So the bill is, is nonsense. It's not advisable to stop using a generator in Nigeria because we don't have constant lights in Nigeria, especially where I live. I live in Guagualada. We don't have uh, this heat period. Heat is really disturbing us seriously. So I uh, don't advise our leader to ban generator for Nigeria so because we don't have constant lights in Nigeria. So that is my advice from Nigeria. As an individual, if there is no light, the, the hot weather we have in Nigeria, one, you are not comfortable. So without light, how will you even live your own self? Okay, we running businesses, you need okay, light to, to, for your refrigerators, you need light for your mixers, you need light for virtually everything you want to do. So if, the, if the, maybe this bill is being passed and uh, 
they are meant to maybe take away generators and all of that. We all are going to suffer. Our businesses will crash and all of that. We don't have access to cold water because there is no light to even power our fridge. My name is Yenidikache Ago reporting for The Sun TV.